a lot of people talk about utilizing the Burr strategy to obtain undervalued real estate. But what if you don't have enough cash to pull off a Burr deal? What can you do? That's what we're talking about for you, Drew. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I am your host, James Wise, and today I'm working with my man, Drew. Drew is a cat working out of the air. F- Let me start that over. One, two, three. Hey, folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I am your host, James Wise, and today I'm working with an out of state real estate investor named Drew. Drew is in the Air Force. Thank you for your services, brother. Uh, Drew, what you're trying to do, you reached out to me because you want to to do some bird deals, okay? You want to invest in some bird deals, but but here's the caveat, okay? You only have thirty thousand dollars in cash to play with. So, uh, you know, so poses the question, right? What can you do, right? Because to really pull off a burr uh, in the Cleveland market, which is essentially going to be the cheapest market in the U.S., basically, right? That's why you come to the Cleveland market, right? You guys are out in like New York or L.A. or something, and you don't have uh, enough money to get in the game. Uh, in those markets, so you're, you're probably going to gravitate towards like a cheaper market like Cleveland, which is essentially like the cheapest one in the U.S., right? But even though Cleveland is essentially the cheapest, uh, to pull off a bird deal successfully, you're going to need more than 30 grand, right? Uh, that's just not enough cash. Uh, right now, we've been hammering out some bird deals for you know various investors, and, and their cash outlay is roughly like 60 to 70K, right? Uh, a pretty consistent thing is like a purchase price of 30 to 40 K, a reno budget of 20 to 30 K. Uh, and we're doing some single families in, in, in the Cleveland area. A lot of the stuff in the, uh, uh, near West side, right? That's, that's pretty much like the most replicable, cheapest way to do a burr in the, in the United States right now, in my opinion. Okay. So even that, uh, is going to require, you know, about double what you have brother. So where does that leave a guy like you? Can you still get in and and buy distressed real estate and and get in cheaper than you need to? Do you, are, are you just stuck going to the turnkey route, right? And as a matter of fact, you can. You can still target deals like that, uh, but you have to do it a little bit differently, right? So let me explain. I want to I want to show you what I got because I think this is probably going to be the perfect alternative uh, for somebody in your situation where you don't have enough cash to do the pure beer, the pure burr, which for anybody out there who maybe never heard that term before, it's very common in the real estate industry. Uh, it's called buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat. The idea, you buy a home that's distressed, you renovate it, you put a tenant in, then you refinance it out. The whole goal is for the initial purchase price and the renovation to cost less than what the the final appraisal is, right? So if the property is worth $100,000, ideally you want the purchase price and the renovation to fall in like at like 80,000 or 90,000, something like that, right? So that's that's that. But I think this could be a reasonable alternative for somebody like you, Drew. Uh, 3426 West 120th, Cleveland, 4411. Been on the market 116 days because it's just an ugly beat-up rental, dude. Listed for 63.3 by some dudes out of a Century 21 office. And it is currently being rented. The tenant is currently paying 750, but the kicker, the the actual market rent for this is $1,000 a month or $12,000 a year, okay? But the current tenant is paying seven fifty, And as you can see, dude, they're, they got all kinds of crap in here, right? We got uh, some pretty serious fish tanks. Looks like a little custom-build fish tank right there. Um, you know, 
They're just, uh, you know, another fish tank, right? So it doesn't look like this particular tenant is looking to move anytime soon. They look like they're pretty well hunkered down. And our big ticket type stuff, right? Like we got updated electrical right here. That's always great to see. Right here, though, this is this is definitely some distress, okay? What you got here is you got peeling paint everywhere, right? That's that's rough. That's tough. That's ugly. At some point, somebody's gonna need to take care of this. Could you? You could do it a couple ways too. You could spend a couple grand and scrape and paint it. Uh, that's one way to do it. Another way to do it would be to just bite the bullet and spend about you know eight to ten thousand dollars and just vinyl side the whole house and you'll never have to deal with it again, right? This is the Cleveland market. Our homes are old, okay? Uh, Prior to, I think it was like either 1976 or 1979, I can't recall off the top of my head. One of those two, uh, it was not illegal to utilize lead-based paint, right? So you could run into lead-based paint hazards. So when you see some stuff like this, you got to you gotta take care of it, right? you got to get rid of it, right? So someone's going to have to do that eventually. I'm not saying you have to do it tomorrow, but if you were to buy this property, that would be something you need to do. Just more tenant crap, another shot of all the peeling paint, right? So what is my plan of attack? Okay, my plan of attack is for you to take the fact that this house is fairly distressed. It's got, uh, you know, a major need uh, for some paint. And we got a tenant who's hunkered down in there. The house ain't probably going to show well to anybody. There's like 500 freaking uh, fish tanks in there or whatnot. And they're paying below market rent. They're paying 750 I want you to keep all that in mind. And I want you to make an offer of 50000 The home is in rough shape. Uh, but you know, if we're lucky, we could probably still get it to go through, uh, a conventional non-owner occupied loan. They may want to escrow some additional funds, uh, for you to take care of the peeling paint. I'm not sure how your particular bank will want to handle that. Sometimes that's the route they go. So there are going to be a, a little few things we're going to have to, to iron out, but essentially I, I would like you to take the fact that the tenant's paying less and the fact that uh, we got some serious pain issues. I want you to try to pick it up at 50K, right? And that would be a steal because the actual market rent, again, is 1000 right? And if you're bringing in $1,000 a month out of this sucker, that means you're spending approximately 482 to operate this on a monthly basis, right? Leaving you with an average NOI of 518, right? That makes it a 12.4 cap, and if you finance it, which is key for you, because remember, you're only you're only working with $30,000, right? So you can't come in and do like a pure bird deal, right? You need to get a financed loan uh, because you wouldn't be able to totally do something, right? Because remember, you're going to need between like 60 and 70K to do a, a pure bird deal here in the Cleveland market. Uh, so if we could bring in a lender, right, you only need to use 12500 of your cash up front, then... In addition to that, you'll have to eventually spend money uh, repainting it or vinyl siding it. But just the initial outlay, it's going to lay out a 35% return on your investment, right? Now, the other cool thing about that, too, is when this home does get to the point where it is renting for $1,000 a month, probably to a Section 8 tenant, maybe it's this tenant, maybe it's not. He doesn't really look like he's moving out, uh, but it's going to be very hard for you to uh, say, hey, bro. You're paying seven fifty. I need you to pay a thousand. You can get the fuck out of my house, right? You don't want to do that uh, because then you're gonna speed up the process of when you need to spend more money. And you're only working with thirty k, right? You don't have that much left, right? Like you got your twelve and a half into the deal, and then maybe you did vinyl sign it, so that's twenty two and a half. Only leaves you like eight k, right? Don't be in a rush to to spend your remaining eight thousand dollars on a turnover. Let's try to keep that tenant in there as long as possible, and uh, you know collect that rent. Maybe we go up fifty bucks, and the next year we go up fifty bucks, right? Because when you eventually have a property like this, and it's already vinyl sided, and you do have a, a market paying Section Eight tenant in there at a thousand bones a month, bro, you got a seventy five thousand dollar property. So you're not doing a pure burr in, in the sense that we're not pulling the money out and doing a refi after a cash purchase but in reality you're picking up a seventy five thousand dollar property that's going to rent for a thousand uh for a much smaller price because it's currently not presented as that it's currently presented as a property that needs ten thousand dollars in paint or vinyl siding work with a tenant with a bajillion fish tanks only paying 750 right but we know that that meets on the bone later right so this is probably the best case scenario for you to pick something up under value because in reality again man this is really going to be a $75,000 property, a $75,000 product when we're done. Now, it wouldn't make sense to do another refi because you'd have to pay like bank fees and whatnot. And remember, 
you're originally only into this thing for 12500 dude. That's great. That's a very small amount of money. Uh, we'll slowly collect the cash flow, slowly raise those rents, and eventually when a natural turnover occurs, maybe he does eventually move out or something, that's when you could spend the money on the interior rehab. Get it ready to go. Bring in another $1,000 a month tenant. Continue to collect your cash flow. In the meantime, you're collecting a salary from the Air Force, saving up. And uh, we're looking for other deals similar to this one, or maybe when you get to you know 60 to 70k cash, we could do a pure burr. That's how I think you uh, are best served to get started right now. If this deal doesn't make sense, well, if this deal does make sense, just reply to the private email, and my team will write the offer on your behalf, make a contingent on a home inspection, help coordinate the inspector to get them in there for you, and go from there. If this plan doesn't make sense for you, what I recommend you do, Drew. As I recommend you just sit tight for right now. The package you bought from me, okay, these videos, they never expire. So right now you got 30 k My recommendation then, if you don't want to go with my, my, my plan A, which is to take this one down, I'd recommend you just sit tight, brother, wait till you have about 60 k and then come back to me. And, hey, if that's a year from now, if that's two years from now, it's totally cool. No expiration on these videos. When you get that 60 k then let's look into some of these near west side burr deals uh, from a pure burr standpoint. So that would be my plan B for you. Plan A is to pick this up. Plan B is for you to, to just sit tight and wait till you get about 60K. So you let me know uh, what you want to do. And then, of course, with any property you buy, my team will take over the property management. My team will handle the insurance. My team can handle the title work during the, the sale, the transaction there. My team will actually be the people doing the renovation. So if you need the property vinyl sided, my team will actually be the guys out there on a ladder siding it, right? We are a top to bottom turnkey provider, right? We provide you guys the turnkey products and services you need to profitably invest, right? We don't have to buy the properties, do the renovations ourselves, collect all the equity, suck all the profit out of the deal, and then give it to you. Uh, we can help you guys achieve that stuff on your own as your long term birds on the ground team. So, that's what we do. If anybody else who's watching the show wants to work with me in the same way Drew is, uh, you can click the show notes below to order your own set of MLS search and analysis videos. You could send my team an email at sales at holtonwise.com. Leave us your phone number, your contact information. We'll call you. We'll talk about our processes, uh, answer any questions you have, and uh, you can get started working with us just like Drew did. Because if you're watching this video and you're not Drew, this video is after the fact, guys. I sent this to him privately a couple months ago. And then when the deals are already done, that's when I publicly release the shows on Holton Wise TV. So unless you're Drew, uh, this property is not currently available as you're watching this, right? You're just seeing what happened uh, with Drew and myself a couple months ago, right? And if you're not ready to contact my team just yet, you're you're still just trying to learn, check out the rest of Holton Wise TV. We got a ton of stuff on real estate education. I would say we are the most transparent uh, operator in this uh, real estate investment space. We got the Tennis from Hell show. We got all kinds of crazy stuff. So if you're a new viewer, at the very least, do yourself a solid and smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.